Morning, Brad. Uh, it's nice to see you at Sri Lanka Cricket. Thanks very much. Uh, just a brief description of your history of playing cricket for Australia. Um, well, I first toured in 1996 to Sri Lanka. That was my first ever tour to uh, for Australia. Uh, my first game was here against Zimbabwe. Um, our Primadasa, and I, I never forget that. I just the atmosphere was uh, so engaging, and um, just just to be able to play on the subcontinent and realise how much cricket is loved over here was something special to me. Um, and then we went for a tour of India that that particular year as well. And uh, then I was gone, done and dusted for seven years before I could uh, return to international cricket. And uh, ho and behold, Shane Warne had an injury in Australia and uh, I got caught up for a one day game out the Wacker and who were we playing? Uh, Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka was part of my, uh, my debut but also part of my, my comeback as well uh, after seven years. And Russell Arnold is doing a bit of commentary now. He was my first wicket when I came back. So uh, Russell, if you're watching this mate, you're my buddy. <laughs> uh, what brings you to Sri Lanka on this tour? Uh, we've got four uh, young aspiring Australian cricketers that are coming over. They are in our academy back home. Um, two are batsmen who bowl a bit of part-time spinners. And uh, that, that's Will Bazisto, who was the captain of the under-19 Australians a couple of years ago, or might have been, yeah, two years ago. And Matthew Short, uh, an 18 year old who's a tall batsman who bowls some decent off spin. And then we've got James Muirhead who played in the two tw uh, T20 World Cup just recently in Bangladesh, big turning leg spinner. And Clive Rose from Tasmania who was born in Pakistan, I think, or is from Pakistan origin. No, he's born in Australia, sorry, but uh, he's Pakistan origin. Who's an off spinner that's just cracked the. Um, Crack Shield Cricket for Tasmania just of recent uh, times, who's coming over for experience as well. So um, they're playing a little bit of cr club cricket in the under 23 competition and uh, they're getting so much out of it, uh, meeting the locals and th that's, what it's, that, that's probably what the trip's a part about. Not only just learning about the game of cricket and, and improving on their skills but also getting involved with uh, the, the local cricketers because hopefully they're going to come up against each other at international cricket and when these Sri Lankan boys travel to Australia uh, hopefully they'll be, our, our boys will be as hospitable, as hospitable as your guys have been to our guys so it's about building friendships as well um, it's alright going out playing cricket once you cross that white line we play hard and once you leave the field at the end of the day it's about creating mateships and uh, that's one thing I've got out of cricket is travelling the world the different cultures and mingling with with people from different cultures and and building your friendship base and uh, I've, I've got so many friends around the world your thought on the standard of uh, club cricket in sri lanka at the moment uh one thing i can say is there's spinners coming out of the uh out, <laughs> out of the beehive here there's there's um so many spinners uh talented spinners here that uh just blows my mind and there's, there's probably two or three spinners that can play A grade in Perth straight away um, from, from the under 23 competition. But uh, some of the talent that's around Sri Lanka is, is amazing. And um, yeah, the, the boys are, are, are really getting their, their skills tested. So it, it's a great competition. And it's something that's, you know, we've got an under 19 competition back in Australia, but this under 23 competition is good for the boys to, to develop their skills. and I. I guess you were very fortunate that you can play cricket in Sri Lanka all year round. Um, our winter doesn't allow us to play cricket in, in Perth, Melbourne and Sydney um, and Adelaide as much as you guys, so we're only limited to, to summer to be, be uh, able to play our cricket. Do you have any favourite cricketers from Sri Lanka? Do I have any favourite cricketers yeah. from Sri Lanka? Uh, I really enjoyed playing against Sangakkara. Uh, I thought he was a fantastic batsman and uh, always gave me a challenge. Uh, Mahala J. Wardner, loved playing against him uh, and I was very fortunate to come over and play for Wyamba a couple of years ago under the leadership of J. Wardner and I uh, really enjoyed my time there and um, played a bit of golf with Mahala, not a bad golfer 
but I wish he got as frustrated on the golf course <laughs> than on the cricket field because I would have got his wicket a little, uh, a little bit easier than uh, than uh, what, what what he had. Um, I think uh, Angelo Matthews is a, is a fantastic all rounder and, and is leading well, and uh, I, I think Sri Lankan cricket's moving forward. Um, and you know they, they're doing well over in England at the present moment. I think they've won the T20 and the One Day series, and uh, hopefully they can meet, beat our uh, our arch rivals, our old enemy, um, uh, in the Test series as well. Uh, Australians always love beating the beating the English, since we, they sent us out a, as convict colony in Australia. Uh, coming back to your playing days, uh, you are. Uh person who has not been picked up by most of the Sri Lankan batsmen. Who have your uh, favourite batsmen been or how have you managed to keep your mystery bowling a mystery? <laughs> I've never kept it a mystery, it's just, uh, I th I th look, I've, ne I've never gone out in, in the middle of, of, I've never gone to a game thinking the opposition can't pick me, because um, if you go out there thinking, oh right, it's going to be easy, they can't pick me. You, you seem to lose that mental edge. You've got to think that um, the, the opposition batsmen have improved, they've worked out how to pick you, and, and you've got to be really on top of your game, especially when you're on top of the on top of the opposition. Um, oh, look, I've, I've really enjoyed bowling to subcontinent teams um, because that tests my skill. Uh, they are the hardest players to bowl spin against because they're bought up playing against spin and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an honour to, you know, have people say that they can't pick you and, um, and, and to walk away from international cricket knowing that uh, certain players couldn't pick you uh, is, is something that I'll go to my grave thinking, right, I've, I've done okay at international level, I've, I've done a lot better than I thought I would and um, it, it's a great privilege to, to sort of have that, uh, that type of... Um, the tank on you. Yeah, yeah. So people talk about you that they couldn't pick you. And I'm quite surprised. I think Mahala was one that um, said that he couldn't pick me. I hope I'm right there, Mahala. But um, uh, you know, to, to have someone of that calibre to, to say that to you, it's um, it's, it's fantastic. I've, I've got to say too, I, I really appreciated the Sri Lankans in my retirement game. When, when I retired in 2008, they gave me a standing ovation out on the MCG. Um, to, to have that uh, respect amongst your peers uh, is, is an absolute honour. So I'd like to thank the, uh, the Sri Lankan players who played that particular match for giving me such a warm uh, send-off. I've, no, I've never thanked anyone for that uh, before. It's only just come to mind then, and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to be able to thank uh, Sri Lankan cricket for that. Thank you, Brad, uh, for being in Sri Lanka. Hope to see you soon, and yeah. oh, God blesses you with many more matches to come <laughs> in your way. Yeah, no, thanks very much and I'm privileged to be able to play the game at my age at 43, so hopefully I can play for another couple of years. Thank you very much Thank for you. having me. Thank you.